But let's be honest though, how many women do you think are going to qualify to do this? To be in the Marine Corps, to be in the combat? How many? Little to none. Little to none, man. And being in close combat in the Marine Corps is not something I would want my daughter or my future daughter to do personally. And I'm not saying this because I'm sexist or I hate women. I think women should be protected and they have skills for different areas. Leave the combat to the tall muscular men with massive amounts of testosterone. Leave that to them. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to be there. And if you feel some type of way with me saying this, maybe you should hear from a woman. So there was this push in the last couple of years to let women do more, to technically be on the so-called front lines. Do you agree with it? Well, there's really no front line anymore. Uh, this isn't conventional enemy. Females have definitely played a, a strong role in combat operations in, in a supporting capacity. Um, my specific concern is opening up infantry for females. Why? It's definitely not a cost. The cost definitely outweighs the benefits. Uh, it's not going to help the individual and it's not going to help the institution. Uh, we're a warfighting institution and combat readiness needs to be at the front and foremost. Uh, when we make decisions like this, and I don't think that this is this change is going to benefit anybody.